Hey, okay, welcome. What day is it? It's Monday. Unless you live in like New Zealand, it might be Tuesday or something. I don't know how the world works, but you know what? I'm here to answer your questions. I asked you guys on Saturday or Friday or one of those days to ask me all your stuff, and I got hundreds of questions from you guys, so that's pretty good. Okay, I tell you what, some people like to clean up before they go into the camera. I don't. I haven't showered in like two days. I put on a hat because that's my thing. This was 99 cents at Goodwill. Let's answer some questions. Let's have some fun. Let's, let's engage in some frivolities. I got my laptop, HD portable, um, personal handheld computer here and let's engage in some activities. We're sitting on the porch, pretty neat, let's get started. Okay, first question. Travis Phillips asks, how tall is Lord Gus? Lord Gus is six foot one. The McBob Gorge asks, Gus, I saw you on Ellen, did you like her? Uh, honestly though, was I on Ellen? I don't know if I was on Ellen. If I was on Ellen, you guys should tell me because I didn't think I was, but maybe I was on Ellen. Now nah, she's pretty cool, I guess, if I was. Justin Becherer Le Point asks, Gus, are you actually the working man or is your girlfriend? I'm the working man, you guys, I am. I am him, okay, come on. Patrick says, or Patrick GH3 says, how often do video songs or other ideas get scrapped and does that affect your motivation? That's a good question. I do scrap some videos sometimes. I just scrapped two this last week that I put probably 10 hours total into because sometimes you get out, you film the stuff and it just sucks. You know, you get into the editing room and it just, you put it together and it just doesn't work. And that's one of the biggest creative tips. If I'm, if I'm allowed to give any creative advice, which I'm certainly not, I'm able to give you this. If something sucks, don't be afraid to scrap it. Don't look and say, oh, I already put this much time into it. I gotta try and wring it out to make it work. If it sucks, scrap it, start over. I probably scrap about 20% of the stuff that I make. Plow Killer asks, I saw on Twitter that you wanna be on Survivor. How do you manage to accomplish that? And would you also like to be on The Amazing Race? That's a good question. If you guys follow me on Twitter, some of you don't, go ahead, follow me on Twitter, at Gus Buckets, G-U-S-B-U-C-K-E-T-S. -E I'll put it right on the screen there, boom. It's in the description down below. Go ahead, follow me on Twitter. I like to communicate with people on Twitter. Anyway, Survivor. Yeah, I'm gonna try and get on the game show Survivor. It's a, it's a game show that I used to watch when I was a little kid, um, and now I'm like, I think it'd just be fun as hell if I just got on Survivor and just went on there and was just, it was just a big goofball like on TV. So, yeah, I'm gonna try and get on Survivor. I'm gonna make an audition tape, see what happens. Julie the Human asks, hey Julie, what are your YouTube channels that you're into? I really like H3H3 Productions. Um, I was really sad to see that my favorite series ever on YouTube just got done. It was uh, Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared. It's, it ended like June 19th or so, day before my birthday. Um, I also like to watch Philip DeFranco sometimes. Well, Ugly Roach is my friend Tyler. He does the channel too, or he's on the channel too sometimes. I like Jimmy2296. Jimmy's my bud. No Small Parts is a great mini series about uh, Hollywood bit actors. Um, very good stuff. Real Big Boys is another really good channel. Um, I, I follow Steve-O. <laughs> hey, how's it going, Steve-O? I follow Steve-O's uh, channel. He does good stuff. I'm waiting for Jackass 4. But first we gotta get Bam clean. Come on, Bam, let's get here. Travis Cali asks, Gus, how's it feel being the supreme ruler of r slash YouTube haiku? And then I will say right under that, Mitch Mark 94 um, puts down, when did he pass up KML, KML, JKL? Now, good couple of questions. I'd like to address it. First of all, I'm not the supreme ruler of YouTube haiku, but I'm flattered that you'd say it. I've been really lucky because a lot of my fan base has come from YouTube Haiku, the subreddit. Um, if some of you guys don't know what, what I'm talking about, it's a subreddit on reddit.com r slash YouTube Haiku. Check it out. A lot of my success has come from people from YouTube Haiku. I've seen a lot of big top posts on there and I'm very fortunate to, to have that. That being said, I'm really hoping that I can branch out into other places too. I love it when you guys go put my stuff on big places like r slash videos, the big subreddit. That helps a lot. All of my big videos that have gotten at least a few hundred thousand subscribe or, uh, views have been on r slash videos, so thank you for that. Now addressing KML, KML, JKL, um, first of all, I love his work. It's really funny stuff. Um, I've actually talked to him too, direct messages on Reddit a couple times. He's a really nice guy. He helped me out and reported stolen links to me. That being said, I'm not trying to vie for any top spots on Reddit, um, YouTube Haiku. I love the community. I think it's funny as hell. I like being featured on there. I don't know, I'm trying to, I'm trying to span out, you know? I'm trying to do new things. And I like KML stuff. I'm happy for KML. I'd like to collab with him sometime. I hope that he uses some of my stuff in his videos. KML, if you're watching, I'd love to work with you sometime. Hit me up. Flat into my DMs, baby girl. Okay. Ugh. What else we got? Do you think that Guy Fieri is a douchebag? <laughs> I'm gonna say right now, about an eighth of all the questions you guys asked me have been about Guy Fieri, and I don't, I don't know him. I know what he's from. He's from the diners, dive-ins, and drives, and donuts, and ding holes but I don't really know him. Uh, blah, 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 blah. What is your dream job? Nine Neek asks, what is your dream job? I wanna be an actor so bad, or a musician. We'll see what this takes me. 
Maybe it won't work. Maybe I need to get a real people job. I don't know. We'll play our cards right. We'll see whatever. Magnus Hjort asks, how long is your dong? I'd say about 36 seconds. Uh, hey, Gus, have you ever had a dream? <laughs> oh, sorry, I gotta fix this. Hey, Gus, have you ever had a dream? You, you, you want him, to, you want him to do, you want him to do you so much you could, you could do anything? Yeah, I have a couple times a week. The Lackey 201 asks, what is your opinion on Heelys? I like Heelys. I never got to wear them when I was a kid. Maybe they suck. Maybe I'm missing out. Who knows? Too late. I think they stopped making them. You Have My Axe asks, hey Gus, if you had to eat a whole tree, what type would it be? Also, what camera do you use? If I had to eat a whole tree, I'd probably do something really small like a pine tree. Oh no, that'd be bristly. I'd probably do like an oak tree, but like one of those little fledgling ones so I could just chop it up into a nice Caesar salad. Also, what camera do you use? For the most of the time, I use this camera. It's an HD CMOS Canon digital zoom built-in memory card 32 gigabyte Vixia HF R21. Too bad they don't sponsor me. I keep bringing up all these stupid products and nobody gives me any money. Somebody should pay me some money, but I use that one for most of the time. I use it for all the working man ones, otherwise just my cell phone. Michael Claus asks, Merry Christmas, How where does the inspiration for a lot of your videos come from? Or are you just naturally hilarious? Michael, you sweetheart. Okay, so anyway, what I do usually is when I'm completely out of ideas, is I'll just do a lap around the kitchen, and then if I don't find anything there, I'll do a lap around the house, and then I'll do a lap around the town, and then I'll do a lap around the rest of the city. And I just look for like an object that I'm like, okay, window scraper? Okay, that, what can I do with a window scraper? Oh, I can make fried eggs with it. Ah, oh, that's pretty funny. So I do that. I just look for stuff to give me inspiration. Uh, Verse Snelling Spooky asks, Hey Gus, my question is, which video was the hardest to make? Also, where can I get that Jesus First shirt you're wearing? I'll answer your second question first. I got it at Goodwill. Nobody pays me when I talk about Goodwill every damn video. It says Jesus First, then Pong. I don't know what it means or what it's from, but I thought it was funny and it was two bucks, so I got it. First question. Which video was the hardest to make? The video that was the hardest to make was Help. You guys see that one where I was like, help, 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 help. And I kept getting farther away from the camera. You remember that one? That took like two hours to make. And I was in this piddly little life raft that kept sinking. And even though I had a paddle to like paddle myself out to farther locations, it was so like deflated and bad that every time I paddled, it turned the boat 90 degrees. So the only way that I could move is if I scooted my, <laughs> scooted my chin all the way up to the edge. And I just like, like, turtles swam really bad till the middle of the lake, and it was just exhausting, and I was soaking wet, and it was in, like, denim jeans, but it was fun. I liked that video, so worth it. Six out of ten, would recommend. Best cool guy around asks, what's your favorite subreddit? YouTube haiku. Not kissing ass. Kyle Jorgensen asks, why do you wear a helmet in all of your videos? Kyle, let me tell you something right here, okay? The world's a dangerous place, and if I can take any precautions that I can to try and guard myself from evils, from perils, and from dangers, I'm gonna do it, okay? Kyle, get yourself a helmet, man! Awesome Face XL asks, why did you decide to wake up one day and say, I'm going to do YouTube so I can make comedy shorts and music to hopefully entertain people? Early last spring. We're growing fast. Thanks for subscribing. Bing! That saves me time so I don't have to go look up a Bing sound effect. Transition. <laughs> Sir Topham Kick asks, how did your Olympic audition tape go down with the old Olympics? Hashtag get Gus to Rio. Okay, first of all, I made that Olympic audition tape like a couple weeks ago, and they didn't even put me in Rio, you guys! Freaking, I tried, I set up the course for like 28 minutes with my mom, and she messed up some of the filming, but I don't care. They didn't put me in Rio, and I wore my helmet, and I was mad. I was, I was really mad. So, yeah, hashtag get Gus to Rio. Spread it. Maybe I get to Rio, you guys. Put, go put my Olympic audition tape on r slash Rio. I don't know how it works. Go get, I want to go to Rio, you guys. Tim Newman asks, hey Gus, could you please do more of the videos outside? I very much appreciate your outdoors videos as I'm part of the world without much outdoors and it's nice to see thanks, bye. I'm outside right now, this is for you Tim. Bless up Tim. Have fun in Cambodia or I don't know where you are Tim, good guess. Shy Saggy, Saggy, Sagey says, what's your favorite TV show? Right now it's It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Just started watching it a couple months ago, bam. Oh, where's it been all my life? Michael Doyle asks, What's your favorite video you have made? I'm gonna tell you right now, Michael Doyle, first of all, I love doing the Working Man series so, so much. If you're one of the few that actually watches these longer update form videos, I'm gonna tell you something right now. I'm gonna do 10 Working Man videos and then be done. We just wrapped production on the seventh one and it came out a couple weeks ago. Um, I'm filming the eighth one here in a couple days. I don't know when I'm gonna release it. And then there's two more after that. I love the Working Man series, but I always envisioned it as a 10 series or 10 episode cap. So we're gonna do that. I love it more than anything else. I, I honestly too think that the last Working Man one, the lawn care one, was the best Working Man yet. I think it had some of the best sight gags and I had the most fun doing it with it. 
or and I had the most fun making it. You get what I was trying to say. But thanks for asking. All right, Jack10391 asks, Hey Gus, love your work, thanks. If you could collaborate with anyone on a video, who would that be? Great question. I'd love to collaborate with KML, he's pretty frequent on YouTube Haiku. I'd love to collaborate with Jimmy2296. Um, Real Big Boys is a great channel. If I'm shooting for the stars, H3H3 Productions, but pff, come on, that's not gonna happen anytime soon. Otherwise, I really love some of those smaller YouTube Haiku guys that have been growing with me. It's really fun to see fellow creators that start on YouTube Haiku and just kind of build stuff up, so I'd love to work with those guys. Also, there's a there's a woman who's like, she's she, her name is Mad Cat Lady. She makes just the craziest, weirdest computer animation videos, and I really want to use one of her animations for one of my and for one of my music videos in the future. So if you could go to like Mad Cat Lady's channel, subscribe to her. She posts just strange, strange things like stuff you'd see on Adult Swim or really late at night stuff like that. I want to work with her. I sent her a couple messages, and I don't know if she's not receiving them or something. But I'd love to use her animation in a video. Go to her channel, subscribe, tell them Gus sent you. She's, she makes cool things. She's a unique person. So go subscribe to her. Tell her that Gus... Tell her to check her damn emails! Luca Kramerik asks, Do you have a girlfriend? Mr. Tubby asks, How many people do you have added on Snapchat? I don't add back a lot of people on Snapchat. That being said, for right now, I've got my snap set to open. If you want to make that stay that way, please don't spam me. You know, there are most of you guys, if you add me on Snapchat and send me a snap, you know, hey Gus, like your work, or hey Gus, how you doing? I'll, I'll, you know, I'll say hi. You know, it's fun and I like interacting with you guys. But if you're sending me like five a day, like, I'm at the beach, I'm eating chocolate ice cream, look at this dog in the yard. I'm not gonna reply to those. I don't have time in the day to reply to those things. I'm keeping my Snapchat open. You wanna follow me on Snapchat? Mother X Teresa. Boom, I'll put the words right there. The link is on the description down below. You know what, go to the description right now. You can follow me on Twitter. I got a Facebook page, I got my subreddit, I've got Instagram, I've got my Snapchat. Go look at them right now because there's interesting stuff there. I post behind the scenes videos. Whenever I'm out on location doing work, working man stuff, I'm filming videos and like talking and stuff like that. Go look at all the stuff, social media down below. I don't like social media as much, but you gotta do it if you're doing what I do. You know what I mean? You gotta do it, it's a family business. Because there's people like you trying to make their way in the world. <coughs> And it's really hot, so you gotta buckle down and subscribe to every channel I got. <sighs> Where were we? Captain Caleb SG asks, how do you even come up with such classics as Too Much and Febreze the Cheese? That's a good question. You can usually tell how good of an idea that I have if you can look at it and say, does it make sense? And if the answer is, yeah, then it is, okay, he has some time on his hands. If the answer is, no, that means, okay, there's no idea. Make something that just makes you go, what? That's about the answer. Toggle321 asks, which always sunny character do you identify most with? Great question, great show, Papa John's. I like to think that I'm half Dennis, half Charlie. I'm Dennis because I like to be in control of stuff, I like getting things done, and I like getting mad sometimes, but then I'm also half Charlie because, you know what, I just don't care sometimes. It's just, I don't brush my teeth, I mean, take a shower, and then maybe I'll just wear an old army shirt, and that's the extent of it. Justin Maroney asks, Yo Gus, what's your favorite Beatles song? Yo Gus, what's your favorite Beatles song, dog? It's Yes It Is. You ever heard that song? Yes It Is. Probably haven't. Only the anthology version, though. Look it up. The Beatles. You heard of them? Pretty small indie band. Just getting started. Go support them on Patreon. Paul will thank you for it. 2F Jeff asks, Hey Gus, congrats on 20,000. Thanks, you guys, for 20,000 subscribers. Would you ever co consider collaborating with a smaller channel? Also, who's the one YouTuber you'll always watch when they upload? Great question, Jeff. I don't like to limit myself on collaborations based on the channel size. If you're a good channel, you're making good content, I'm always interested in, in uh, collaborating with you. That being said, if I don't collaborate with you, it's not because I don't like your content. I just don't always have the time to collaborate with people. Who's the one YouTuber you'll always watch when they upload? H3H3, boom, immediately, I gotta see it. Also, don't hug me, I'm scared, it's done now, but pff, used to be that, but that was like once a year. Also, you know what, I'm gonna f I forgot this before, I'm gonna shout out a really small channel that I really like the content of. Be back whenever. I think you guys, I think you subscribed to me, Be Back Whenever. I don't know if that's your actual channel name, but you do hilarious videos. I loved like your water review and the show show. Oh my gosh, funny stuff. Go look at Be Back Whenever. He's, he's just genuinely a funny guy and he's got like a few hundred subscribers. So go throw him a bone, tell him Gus sent you. He's a, he's a great guy, so I'd love to work with you too, Be Back Whenever. 
A win raw as you asks if you could pick any video from your channel that is most likely to blow up on every meme page out there, what video would it be? Well, first let me tell you what. Some of you guys have probably known and reported to me that my wipe it like it's hot video, my broccoli, the making new healthy f new friends video, the goodwill badwill video, and the basic home security. Are there any stabbers there? No, it's okay video. They get stolen all the damn time. Every meme page on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter, they just steal that stuff all the time. You know what happens? You always go, hey, I'm Gus Johnson, I made this video. Could you uh, give me some credit, you know, post the link to my channel or whatever, or take me, or uh, take it down, you know? And they always go, dude, no, fuck you, dude. No, why are you getting pissed, bro? You're getting famous. Dude, you're getting, we're spreading your, your, your fame, man. You're getting famous, why are you complaining, man? That doesn't make any sense. And I go, I try to be rational. I go, um, excuse me, I couldn't help but notice you didn't, uh, it doesn't actually matter because, uh, people don't know how to, they can find me. They don't know my name. They just see my face really blurry because you, uh, compressed the picture so it wouldn't get, uh, automatically software detected. I couldn't help but, uh, just notice if you could just take it down, you know? Bro, we're not gonna do that, bro. We're trying to, we're just, just your content. Quit your bitching, bro. That's always how it goes. So, I don't, that wasn't even the answer to your question. I was just venting there. Really mad about that. But, you know, it's the internet. Ugh. Jesse Crawford asks, if you could replace the lead actor in any film with yourself, what movie would now be starring Gus Johnson? Back to the Future starring, nope, not Michael J. Fox, Gus Johnson. Zappinator, great question. Any awesome sketch ideas you've had that were just not doable, too expensive or too hard to organize or just way too much effort? I spent months this spring trying to make a video called, Hey Darren! There was a guy that came and talked in one of my college classes and his name was Darren, that's all I know, he's like a middle-aged guy. Um, he doesn't know who I was, but every time I saw him on campus, I'd quick get excited, I'd take out the camera, I'd set it up so I was like right in front here, like here, and then you could see Darren walking back in the background, and I'd go, Darren! And then you could just see him in the background, he'd like look around really confused. But I only saw Darren like five times in a few months, so I got so excited when I was like, Dude, there's Darren! I'd go set up the camera, but I gotta see Darren some more, otherwise it's not gonna come out, but stay posted, Darren. I love you, bud. Ian Stahl asks, Hello, Sir Gustav. I enjoy your videos, and I was curious, will you ever do fan meetups? I think it would be darn cool as heck to meet you. I tell you what, Ian, it would be cool to meet you, too. I'd like to think, you know, just being reasonable with myself, I don't think I'm big enough right now to do a fan meetup. You know, I'd schedule it, I'd put the sign on the table, Gus Johnson fans, I'd sit in the Applebee's and I'd be waiting, and oh yeah, I'll take another water, they'll be here any second, and nobody would show up, because I only have, even though 21-ish thousand subscribers is so cool and generous to you guys, I don't think it's big enough to meet a merit a fan meetup, you know. If you see me in public, feel free to stop me. I'm not going to be scheduling anything anytime soon. Maybe cross our fingers if I get bigger. I'd love to do it. Definitely, for sure, 100%. 10 out of 10, Woody install. Chunko McSqueeze asks, oh, two great ones in a row. Boom, first one. Are you planning on making any more albums? Let's address this one real quick. Yeah, I'd love to make more albums. I'm working on more material all the time. I just put out a couple months ago my album Champagne Seats. It's always available for download in the description down below. Download Champagne Seats. It's name your own price, which means it's free. Or give me two bucks, maybe, because I can buy gas to get home. It's free down there, or whatever. Name your own price. Also, I'm on Patreon. I don't want to kiss your guys' ass all the time, but if you have a couple extra bucks to throw my way every month, that's cool. I do monthly stuff, not project-based. I don't want to kiss ass anymore. I'm on Patreon. If you can do it, great. If not, download my album for free. Everything helps me out. Thanks for spreading my work so much. Also, boom, number two from Chunko McSqueezer. You should be a mod on YouTube Haiku. Are you a mod, Chunko? I don't know that I have a lot of time to necessarily, like, religiously patrol it, and I feel like that would piss some people off, because even though a lot of the times people like me on YouTube Haiku, there is a small part of the community that is always like, getting so damn sick of Gus, force, try hard, please laugh, you know, which to each their own, I get it too, but you know what? The community dictates what they want to see on the page, so pfft, who knows? I don't know. Maybe I'll just stick as a player on the subreddit. We'll see what happens. Thomas Royan asks... Also more seriously, because he asked a goofy question before, it was how do you make the perfect risotto, and I don't know how to make the perfect risotto. I can't cook anything, just biscuits and beans. They're pretty good too, by the way. Thanks for asking. He said, if you could choose, would you, pre would you prefer to live off your music or your goofs? Both are great anyways. I'm just curious. Probably my music. I have more fun with the goofs, but I'm so passionate about the music. Not a lot of people care about it, but you know what? I do a lot, so thank you. Moonlight asks, who's the guy in the Goodwill prank? Can you do more videos with him? That's my friend Nathan. He's been in a couple other videos with me. My biggest one that he's been in is the Goodwill prank. Um, he's also in the Jimmy John's, or what is it? Kitchen Tragedy one, where I go to Jimmy John's and he's the Jimmy John's delivery guy. He's also in a smaller video called Rent-A-Slap with me. It's my buddy Nathan. He's a good actor. Yeah, he'll be in more stuff. My buddy Richard's also on the channel a lot. So is my buddy Theo. And my buddy Tyler. And everybody else. Buddies. Friends for life. Okay, you guys, it's time for some parting thoughts. Guys, I had a lot of fun doing this. I love talking with you guys. 
These videos too, I will answer more questions in the comments. Um, this form of videos, I always think it's a little tacky and I overstay my welcome if I'm just in there typing every answer to the, every comment, you know. But this kind of stuff, this is what it's made for. So I'll try and answer more questions in the description down below if I can, if I have some time. This was a great batch of questions. Every time I do one of these, it's a few months you know, apart, but there's more and more every time. There's a few hundred this time, and it was super exciting to answer them with you guys. I try not to be just some goofy tryhard. I try to just be as honest with you as I can. So thanks for the fun. Um, a couple shout outs too. Look in the description down below. Follow me on all the social media stuff, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, it's fun. I've got my album for download down below. Download, down, do stuff to me on Patreon. <laughs> do stuff to me on Patreon if you wish. Yeah. Um, otherwise, go ahead. Oh, I've got a merchandise store. You can buy like working man hats and, and hoodies and, and mugs and tote bags and stuff like that. Go check it out. There's all sorts of stuff. There's, there's like 50 different things you can get on the store. Men's and women's sizes, different color options. Ah! So go check that out. Um, other than that, I'll talk to you guys soon. I'll keep making the goofs and I love making the spoofs. And I'm stealing that a little bit from H3H3, but you know what? I like him a lot. And I like you guys a lot too. So I'm going to go have some more biscuits and beans because you can't just have one like a Lay's potato chip. Please pay me money. Hashtag get Gus Torrio. I'm going to see if I can try and get on Survivor. So thanks, you guys. You have a good day. Mm -hmm.